Hey, Hugh, you want to play Wolverine one more time? Yeah, sure, Ryan. Deadpool 3 has finally got a release date, and there's something even more exciting being cooked up for Marvel fans. In late September 2022, Ryan Reynolds made the surprise announcement that the threequel would bring back Hugh Jackman as Wolverine. Not only will it mark Wolverine's MCU debut, but also Jackman's return after his supposed final appearance in Logan. Originally, it was announced that Bob's Burgers writers Wendy Molyneux and Lizzie Molyneux Loglin were hired to write the threequel. It now seems though that the third movie is being written by Rhett Reese and Paul Wernick, who wrote the first two movies. It will be directed by Sean Levy, reuniting with Reynolds for their third movie together after Free Guy and The Adam Project. Deadpool 3 now has a release date and so with that in mind, here's everything you need to know about the MCU debut of Deadpool and Wolverine. Deadpool 3 release date. As mentioned before, Deadpool 3 has been confirmed to be released in cinemas on September 6, 2024. In MCU terms, that either makes the threequel the final outing of Phase 5 or the first outing of Phase 6. The latter is more likely as Marvel did have an autumn 2024 release window set in Phase 6 for an untitled movie or TV show. Even though we now have the release date, we still don't know when the movie will start filming but we'd assume it'd be in 2023 to ensure it hits that September 2024 release. As ever, there could always be delays though. Deadpool 3 cast. Well, of course, Ryan Reynolds was always going to be back as Wade Wilson, as Deadpool, and now we know he's got some major company. As mentioned before, Hugh Jackman will be making his MCU debut as Wolverine. We still don't know exactly how it'll work canon-wise, but we assume there's going to be some multiversal shenanigans going on. Reynolds has technically already made his MCU debut in an advert with Thor, Ragnarok character Corp, as well as getting a name drop in the Avengers Campus Ride Avengers Assemble, Flight Force. Deadpool 2 introduced us to a range of new heroes too with the X-Force team and although some didn't survive long enough, we could see the likes of Cable and Domino again. However, Beats isn't so sure she'll be back as she revealed in March 2021 that she hadn't heard anything about a role, and as of March 2022 still hasn't heard a thing. In August 2022, Beats changed her tune slightly and appeared to hint at a return. Well, I can't, obviously, really say anything. But I feel lucky. I just can't really divulge or say anything, so we'll see, I suppose. Fellow teammates Colossus, Negasonic Teenage Warhead, Yukio and Russell will probably round out the X-Force team if we see them again, perhaps with Peter in tow. Fans shouldn't hold out much hope to see the likes of Shatterstar and Zeitgeist return for Deadpool 3, but superheroes always cheat death in the comics. So never say never. We can pretty safely say Blind Owl will be returning thanks to a tweet between Reynolds and Leslie Uggums, who plays the roommate. One character who already cheated death in the franchise is Vanessa, Deadpool's girlfriend, and it's safe to assume that she'll return for the sequel too, though Morna Baccarin hasn't confirmed anything yet. She previously defended Vanessa's lack of screen time in the sequel with fans accusing the movie of fridging her. I can understand that people felt that way and I certainly was disappointed that I didn't have more to do, because I just loved the part so much, she said. But in watching the film and reading the script, it felt like such an emotionally pivotal role in the film and the entire arc of his character in the film is set into motion because of what happens to my character. The merc with a mouth might have his hands full fighting to protect her though, as previous Easter eggs have hinted that Mr. Sinister could turn out to be the big bad of Deadpool 3. Failing that, Deadpool 2's cut cameo from the likes of Omega Red during the Icebox prison scene could also hint at the future of the franchise. TJ Miller played Weasel in the first two movies, but has said he'd rather they didn't make a third movie and if that means he won't be back, we won't be too bothered by it. Will we finally see an on-screen reunion for Ryan Reynolds and his nemesis Hugh Jackman? We simply don't know. With Reese and Warnick back as writers, there's a chance that Chris Hemsworth could be tempted for a cameo as Thor after he worked with them on Spiderhead. Oh man, if he did, we certainly couldn't talk about it. But it'd be super cool, Reese teased. Oh, I'm touching myself tonight. Deadpool 3 plot. Reynolds has teased that the threequel is looking to go in a completely different direction, teasingly adding, often, they reboot or change a character maybe like four movies too late. Though Deadpool's original director said the threequel didn't need an R rating to be great, the movie will be rated R, so don't worry about that. Fage confirmed in February 2021 that Deadpool has established itself as an R-rated franchise. After Reese and Warnick came on board the threequel, they've promised that the movie won't be Disney-fied. 
They are gonna let Deadpool be Deadpool, you know. It's not like any particular joke may be the one that they say, you know, that's too far. That could happen. But to this point, it's been nothing but support, assured Reese. It's unclear how the movie's MCU connection will play a part in the continuity of the series from the first two movies or if it'll effectively be a soft reboot. And that's it for today, I hope you enjoyed the video. We will see you in the next one.